Well, that's a problem. So this is a drain. This is a drain for my kitchen. Uh, it comes down and goes over to the main stack here. And what's happening is I knew this was going to happen eventually because you can see these spots that are nasty, that are rusting through. Basically what's happening is the inside of this pipe is rusting and rotting away. This is cast iron pipe and I knew I was going to have to replace it. So this is kind of the moment, but I am not going to do that um, because I'm not a plumber. And one of the only things you can't do as a homeowner is your own plumbing. And I think that's because if you do something really wrong, you could pollute the ground and you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this to a point where it's not going to drip as much. It actually should not be dripping like it is. The reason it's dripping that much and the reason this rotted out so much is because I've always had problems with um, this building up and um, it's blocked basically. So what I'm going to do is get this ready for the plumber to come in and replace this um, and try and eliminate that drip as much as possible so the water can just come in, go down, and I'll have minimal dripping here. Uh, and then the plumber can do his thing. So I have a clean out right here that I'm gonna um, open up, clean this out, and hopefully be able to use the sink and not have to worry about it dripping too much. I'll just leave this thing here and that should be enough to catch the residual until this stuff starts breaking open, but I'm hoping to get a plumber in here ASAP. But I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way and I figured, hey, why not film it? So here we go. Get the sheetrock out of the way. Obviously, they've had problems before, before I even moved in, because they cut this stud so that they could access that thing. So this has been going on for a while. That doesn't just happen overnight. So, like I said, I knew it was going to happen, but that's a good thing to keep an eye out for if you have these kinds of pipes. PVC is the way to go. This little guy right here. There, problem solved. These cleanouts should be uh, in many different locations in your pipes. So, the smart thing to do is add stuff like this in your pipes in case you have issues like this. Let's see if I can get on this thing. Not gonna be easy. It never is. Ew. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> Look at that. All kinds of junk in there. Gross. All right. Got my little my little snake. We're gonna go ahead and pop it in there.
Ah, okay. I'm through that. I don't know if that's that was the only blockage. If you have a weak stomach, this would be where you want to tune out. Let's see what we caught. <laughs> this is the nasty part. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Oh my god. Yep. It's like just it's like tar. Ooh. Oh, that's hair. I learned everything I know from watching the drain addict on YouTube. Check him out. All right, relax, burrito. She's going senile. Don't worry about her. Burrito, you've been showering? You've been showering upstairs? Yeah, I thought so. Ew. Okay. We're gonna go back in. I wanna make sure this is all clear. Yeah, there is no staying clean on this job. And this is kind of why I wanted to show you this, because this is why you should appreciate plumbers. <laughs> What's up? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that, that has plenty of uh, pitch, and, and it's leaking. So I've been having problems with... Uh, you know, the same like uh, venting and stuff. So it's plugged up. So I'm just unplugging it right now and I'm going to deal with it until the apocalypse is over. And we'll talk about fixing that if you're interested. All right. Pretty sure I'm past all the blockages. All right. So I didn't have anything else on the snake. I'm going to put this cap back on. I'll just put it on hand tight for now. I'm going to run a bunch of hot water and see if I can clear this pipe out. Oh yeah. That is leaking like a sieve. All right. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I shut the water off and that's literally like a hole. <sighs> oh, so that's not good. I gotta figure out a way to temporarily patch that. Because what I did probably, when I snaked it, I pro this was probably built up with a bunch of stuff and the water was going. And then I cleared all the rust and all the stuff. And now it's just a hole. So, gotta figure something out. I'm just gonna... Try and scrape this a little bit very carefully. Get some of this nastiness out of here. Oh yeah. That is a hole. That is a straight up hole. Well, it's not completely dry yet. I don't think it's ever gonna be dry because all that pipe is probably filled with gunk that's soaked with water. But look at the size of this thing. Look at how big that hole is. Yep, yeah, definitely need a new pipe. <laughs> what I'm gonna try and use is JB Weld. JB Weld Quick Weld. I've heard tons of people talk about this stuff. World's strongest bond. So we're going to see if that's true. There's tons of different types of this stuff, but this is a uh, dark gray um, rein reinforced with steel, it says. Quick setting steel reinforced epoxy. So we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to take a file and try to not make this hole bigger, but try and rough up the surface a little bit for the stuff to stick to. Just to make sure this isn't going to drip, I'm going to take a rag 
and tuck it in this pipe and just try and keep this dry. I'll get the rag in here far enough so that I can take the screwdriver and jam it up into this T. Because that's so saturated up there, that whole pipe, it's just going to keep dripping if I don't do this. And there we go. Only going to do what it can do. I need to replace this, and I know that. But we're going to give this stuff a shot for a quick fix kind of thing. I need quite a bit of it. Should have given me a bigger mixing tray. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to try not to tuck in, tuck too much up into that hole. Covered that up pretty good. Still tacky. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours and see if that will uh, stop it from leaking. Okay, it's been a few hours, so I'm gonna take my rag out. I got new Teflon tape on the cap. Tighten that up by hand for now. And we're going to test this. All right. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be okay. All right. So that's it. That's my adventure in home ownership today. And that's going to have to last until I can get a plumber here. As you know, there's some crazy stuff going on right now. So it's going to have to wait until after that. Um, but this is kind of uh, how I like to show you guys how you can problem solve and figure something out. Like this fix, I do not recommend to fix your pipes. This is a temporary fix until I can get a plumber here. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out, I'll leave a video here and here. You can check out some of my other videos and definitely subscribe if this is your first time here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.